Hello everyone and welcome to Sony's SoundForge Pro version 11 explained for Windows. My name is Dave Askew. In this series, you're going to become a master of using SoundForge and learn how to incorporate it into your workflow no matter what audio industry you work in. SoundForge is a single track audio editor with an amazing tool set. And you can think of it as kind of like a Swiss army knife of audio processing tools. At this point, some of you may be asking why I need a single track audio editor when I have similar tools in my expensive multi-track DAW that I already know how to use. For one, SoundForge is a purpose-driven application, meaning that you don't have to waste your precious CPU resources computing things that aren't related to your task. It launches quickly and its tool set is limited so you can get right down to work and complete your task in an efficient manner. There's no need to spend all of your time setting up tracks and inputs preparing a project, or waste your time navigating through dense and complicated menus just for the sake of cutting a voiceover or converting audio from one format to another. Under the surface, there's plenty of advanced audio tools to help you simplify even the most complicated editing tasks. You can even customize the look of SoundForge and set it up in different ways that best suit your application. There's tools for sound design, loop creation, sample editing, audio analysis and restoration, audio mastering, basic disc authoring, and more. Even better is that if you purchased SoundForge as part of Sony's Audio Master Suite, you'll find that it integrates seamlessly with the applications in that bundle, such as Spectralayers Pro 3 and CD Architect. For the beginners, we'll be starting with the installation and authorization process of SoundForge. The process is simple and intuitive, and then we'll be moving on to setting up your audio hardware to work within SoundForge. Moving on, we'll be getting a bird's eye view of the SoundForge workspace, and we'll learn how to record and import audio, as well as work with several of the selection tools and navigate through SoundForge. We'll discover how we can stay organized and perform advanced functions with regions and markers. Then we'll take a look at how to manage third-party plugins and work with effects. Next, we'll take a look at a few of the special tools that SoundForge has when creating your own samples and loops, and also learn a few tricks when it comes to creating seamless loops. After that, we'll get our hands on the tools that we use for audio mastering and restoration. Then we'll learn how to burn track at once or disc at once CDs. We'll learn how to export our audio to different formats, and also learn how to gather different types of statistics about the audio files that we've just worked on. We also have some fantastic audio examples from our friend Emma Andrews over at newaudioproductions.com. He was kind enough to loan us some excellent voiceover sessions that he did for several commercial venues. So thanks again, Emmett. And folks, if you like what you hear, be sure to visit newaudioproductions.com and give a shout out to Emmett Andrews. So once again, everyone, welcome, and we'll see you in the next video.